Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How are you doing, Cancer? Hope you guys are doing amazing. Are you excited for the holidays as we are? I hope you are. Not sure how you guys celebrate, but we celebrate it pretty big over here on this side. We have a huge as family, so... Anyways, let's get into your reading. Cancer, spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels. What are the messages that you have here for cancers tonight? What are the messages that they need to know at this present time regarding their love life? What can they expect? What is unfolding for them? Cancer, cancer, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Okay, one more shuffle. All right, let's get into it, cancer. Your first card here is the moon card card to represent your partner or person of interest is the three of wands we have the five of pentacles the nine of cups oof what happened here the five of cups partners cards is the queen of cups the emperor card and the eight of cups okay so there is a situation that you guys may be dealing with where someone either walked away from this connection or completely came uh, to a halt. Uh, they either stopped communicating or walked away from this connection. Now the card representing you is the moon card. So this is uh, definitely your card here, Cancer. I feel like there is an overwhelmingness of emotion or nostalgia that you're going to be experiencing. Um, this could be either nostalgia about reliving the past um, or for others of you, it's there's a lot of uncertainties that are around or surrounding this connection there is a feeling of them walking away from you or uh, taking you for granted um, what's really striking here is the five of pentacles here um, the guy that is hurt and bleeding it is a representation that is standing out greatly to me which indicates almost the feeling like i've put so much effort i've put so much energy um, they knew I was hurt or they knew that I had been through a lot, yet they still did it or they still uh, did what they promised they would never do. The Nine of Pentacles, sorry, the Nine of Cups is definitely an indication of um, something that just didn't manifest the way you expected it to. Uh, this is like the lack of a wish fulfillment, the lack of um, emotional fulfillment, um, the inconsistency of what they promised or what they portrayed themselves to be. Now, you also do have the Five of Cups here, so I definitely see you ruminating a lot in the energy of grief or hurt. Uh, for some of you guys, it could have been that there was a situation or a relationship that recently came to an end. Um, and the card that's representing the partner is the Three of Wands. So... They were definitely um, currently vibrating from the energy of wanting expansion, wanting to uh, pull away or remove themselves from any type of responsibility. This is the card to me that symbolizes wanting growth, wanting change. Um, in a love spread, it usually indicates them wanting to detach themselves from anything that they feel holds them back. Um, it could have been a situation where they felt like they had multiple options or multiple opportunities and they didn't fully want to commit to just one person or one option. Um, the Queen of Cups is facing uh, away from the Emperor card and the Emperor card is facing towards, but if you can see, kind of both going towards or looking towards the same direction without fully making any type of eye contact. So this sim sim symbolizes um, almost a feeling of like wanting or having expectations that are very different. Uh, it could have been a situation where you kind of, um, and this partner could have been completely honest with you um, if they were forthcoming and telling you that they weren't really looking for, for anything serious or that they weren't looking for something um, that was of commitment. And it could have been almost like the hopes or desires that they would change their mind at some point in this connection. And it's almost like a heartfelt type of energy of it didn't pan out that way. Um, another thing that I'm getting here is I see them going towards 
um, something rather quickly. So I feel that for some of you guys, it could have been a situation where your partner started to pull away little by little and you noticed that you didn't really want to panic. I feel that they were either fixing, or working, or connecting with someone um, that was outside of this connection. And I feel like they were more drawn to that connection. And that's what led them to either pull away. Um, and, it, and it's not giving me an ending cycle here. So I feel like for some of you guys, it could just represent that they just completely stopped communicating with you. Or that they ghosted you for a bit. Or that they're not as forthcoming as they once were. Uh, and the reason for that is because I see them wanting to see what they can get away with. So it's almost like I didn't really come or make an ending with cancer because I want to see if I'm able to come back if it doesn't pan out on this side. I hope that makes sense. Ultimately, what Spirit is telling you here is don't dwell on this energy cancer. Fully understand that you have every right and all the power to know and be clear and concise on what it is that you're wanting or expecting when it's talking about relationships and to not settle for anything less than that um the five of cups also indicating to me it's time for you to it's almost like if you're gonna fall for someone or if you're gonna connect with someone cancer stop romanticizing the connection there is a need for you to either fully accept them as they are and to choose whether to walk away or continue this relationship or to accept them as they are. So this is including if they're being honest with you, telling you they're not wanting something long term, know and understand that if you decide to move forward in this connection, you're okay with no attachments. And if you're not okay, then don't settle for the being okay just because you want it to work out with this person. It's almost about like having the need to know that a lot of the situations that you end up putting yourself in when we're talking about relationships is not necessarily because they're hiding things from you, Cancer, because you guys are extremely intuitive. I think that it has more to do with the fact that you like to romanticize your partner or the people that you're dealing with. So again, um, it's about you know, planting our feet well on the ground and accepting people as they are or choosing not to accept that behavior, who they are, and walk away from that instead of holding on to hope that they will change along the way. All right, my lovelies, I want to wish all of you guys the very best. Happy holidays. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.